Here's another video about word processors in Microsoft Word and we're looking at the headers and the footers of a document. So when we think about headers and footers, I want you to think about your body in relation to your body being like a page. So this is a page, therefore the top of the page, this part right at the top, that is what we would consider the header. And then if I go to the bottom of the page, this little blank spot at the bottom would be considered the footer. Okay, it's just like the head is at the top of your body and the foot are at the bottom of your body. Well, hopefully they are there. So how do we put stuff in the head and the footer? There's multiple ways of accessing it. The, the quickest way that I do it is I just double click somewhere over here and then I have access to the header. See, it's labeled there. And if I move down, you'll see I can just click over here to go into the footer. And you can see straight away that this is the header of the next page. And while I'm in this particular mode, you see everything's a little light gray. You can't really see the text. You are just changing the stuff in this area. You'll notice we have the header and footer ribbon available to us. So let's double click away. And another way you can get to it is you can insert. And there are the header and footer options. There are little templates that you can use. You can go remove the header or you can edit the header directly and it'll take you to the exact same spot. So now that we are in the header, what can we do? Well, we can, as you said, we can, there are lots of built in things that we can do for the header and for the footer. But the, one of the most common things that maybe you want to put like a little heading, like my document, you want to put this text, static text. So if I type that in at the top of the document, you'll notice it's down. If I click away, it's in gray. Now, if I go to the next page, you see it's at the top of every single page. That's lovely. That's really great. Now, if I double click here and say, you know what, I want to actually put a where this file, what the file name is called. So there are lots of options where you can go. You can do quick parts over here. You can do document info. That'll probably be easier. You can say the author, the file name. You can add that information. You can add a particular field. So let's go look at the fields that are available to us. So you've got all these different fields. And I want to go, I want the file name. There's the file name. And you can specify what format it must be in. You can say, hey, I want it in uppercase or lowercase. I want it in uppercase. Um, you can add the whole path, which means what folder it's stored in. So you can click on that and that'll add that. But there are lots of these little options you can always go through and see. Or there's, as I said, there are tons of little options available to you. And I can click OK. And there we go. You can see headers and footers dot docx is the name of my file, which it is. So there we go. So that's how you can add it. And as I said, it's at the top of every page. So there we go. You can also go to quick parts where you can do auto text. You can have a document property as well. And you can access that field just like we accessed it over there. So it's just multiple ways of accessing. You can add a picture if you want. So you want a nice little picture or logo at the top of each of your pages. You can do that. That's also great. Um, and what about some page numbers? We want to put some page numbers in. So I'm going to come here to the footer. And I'll say, hey, you know, I want, I want some page numbers over here. So there's page numbers. And we can say if we want them at the top or the bottom, or we want them in the margin, for example, or if you want them in the current position at the top, whatever. So you can play around with them. So I'm going to put them at the bottom. And they've got some lovely formats available for you. I particularly like the page X of Y because it's page one of three and then two of three and so on. So you can do that and you can specify whether you want it. Where was it? I think it just there, if you want it on the left or the center or the right, I want it in the center. And if I do that, and there we go, it's added it and it will add it automatically. So if I keep adding more text, it will keep on adding the rest of it for me. So I'm going to just go type in some more text quickly. So there we go, I just added some more text quickly and I didn't do anything to the header footer. It automatically adjusted it to five pages and it already adjusted it to like this is page four or five and so on. So those are wonderful little things you can do. As I said, if you want to get to it, you can just double click onto it. Maybe I don't like that head and foot. I want to change it. Well, then I can double click on it. I can go to the page numbers and I can remove the page numbers. I can format them and I can say, hey, you know what? I want them actually to, I can say what format I want. I actually want it to be A, B, C, D, maybe something like that. And I can start them. I want to start it. Well, because we're doing ABCs, I can start it from C, for example. Maybe I've got the first three pages or first two pages in another Word document. And this is the rest of it. So I'm going to start at page C. So I can do that. So by doing that, you can see it's changed it to page C of five. And then D of five. And then E. And it looks ridiculous in that. So we can just remove all that. We can remove the footer. Let's go remove it. So that it's got. So there we go. So those are the types of things that you can do with the header and the footer. Now, some little tricks when it comes to the head and footer. Sometimes you've got a nice little front page. Let's do this. 
on my front page I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put all of this on a brand new page here and this is my front page I'm gonna go you know what this page I'm going to put some nice little text in say page one um, or, or just give it a bit of a name document document it'll spell it correctly of mine and we can make it nice and bold and like italics and put it in the middle and we can make it nice and bold so that it's in the center so there we go document of mine let's make it a bit smaller so it fits up so there we go that's my first page now if I've got a first page like this and I move down I actually don't want this particular part to be there I also want page footers or not page footers, I want page numbers I'm going to put some page numbers in I'm going to show you why so let's just put in some page numbers let's put some at the bottom so we want some random ones let's put them like that I think it's just ABC no we want so I'm going to put just random at the bottom and I actually am going to format the page number so that they start at A. So there we go. So there we go. Start at A. So the problem is on this front page, I don't want there to be any headers and I don't want there to be any footers on the first page. So when I click over here on this page, if I click here, if I see this option, different first page, if I click on it, there we go. Now I have a different first page. Now, uh, because I was in page two, it would take away whatever was in page one. So if I move up to page one, do you see how it disappeared? Everything's gone. But if I had done it the other way around, if I did it no, and I went and I went to this page and I changed this to a different pa first page, it still took it away. So there we go. So if I did this, that means that the front page is different. So I can put stuff in the first page, so like the word hello, and put that nice and in the middle you can format it like normal you'll notice that there's no hello on page two or on page three because it's a different first page so that's very nice if you've got like a cover page in that and maybe you want there to be no page number there but you want this to obviously start from page for example page one so therefore i would change my format my page numbers and say hey these page numbers must start from a or start yeah, from actually below A because the first page would be that. I'm actually going to change it to numbers. My first page is going to be a zero because I want my second page to be a one. So if I do that, you'll notice that on the first page there's nothing. And then on the second page it starts at one because I set this page to a zero. So there's little tricks that you can do. You can also, for example, maybe if you see if you've seen books, sometimes you'll see the one page, the the, the titles over there but then on the next page this is on this side so it's like it's almost like the odd and the even pages are different well you can do that by clicking on different odd and even pages and when you do that you'll notice we now at the odd page header and then this is the even page header so because we are in the odd page header there we can see the the title there and then on the even ones if I click here and put something completely different so let's go and put in a particular field let's go put in the the size of the file I'm sure there is a file size somewhere probably under F file size so I could say I want it measured in kilobytes for example that could be a field that we put in, in the even it's a random field that we put in so I'm going to put that on let's just put it on that side there we go so now on my E, on my odd pages I've got the file name and on my even page I've got the file size and then I go to the next even or odd page there's the file name on my next even page there's the file size so you can do that type of thing where you've got different page pages have different um, headers and footers based on whether it's even or odd and you can just read those particular parts to tell you when you are changing an even so if I change this particular one to red and put it in the middle it'll change only the even pages nothing there but there it's changed so so that's how you can do your headers and footers so just click away and then when you want to change it you just double click on it you've got access to the ribbon over there and you can use all of these options available to you for example like a date let's say we want to hey, I don't want this anymore I'm going to delete it I'm going to say hey, let's put the date in so you can specify the date you can make it automatically update which means if I open up tomorrow it'll have tomorrow's date so we can do something like that so let's do that insert the date I'm not going to update it automatically there we go boom there's the date fantastic so that's on an even page so therefore all of the even pages will contain that and if I want to get rid of it you just click on that to deselect 
different odd and even pages. For tons of videos on Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, even some HTML, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, look at the playlists. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.